I think the, the takeaway message more than anything is just understanding that values for hydraulic conductivity, can, they can vary spatially, they can vary by orders of magnitude. Looking at hydraulic conductivity in terms of if you're given values, you can go back to these tables to kind of get a sense of what your media is like. My name is Pamela Schultz and I've always been very interested in environmental science and really wanted to become an expert in the field of environmental chemistry and environmental science. I'm teaching an environmental chemistry course and one of my goals in the class is to provide people with a, a, a sense of when they hear of a certain compound that they can immediately have some idea of, okay, I remember what that structure is, I have some idea of how that compound behaves, and I have some idea of whether or not that might be an issue in an environmental system like groundwater or surface water. In terms of the people who come to the course, it is a, a varied background. There'll be people from the health department who want to have a better understanding of fundamentals of chemistry. Also, people who take the course are people who are in environmental remediation, who maybe just haven't had a chemistry course in a while, want to get back to the fundamentals, as well as um, understanding what some of the current state of the science is in terms of understanding um, contaminants. My name is Casey Machalski, and I was sent here by my managers because I thought it'd be a useful class to assist with my career. I feel like the introductory course of chemistry was a good you know, refresher for any professional. We went through the basics and then uh, everything's evenly paced. Uh, the instructor answers questions appropriately and it doesn't seem like we're rushing through the material, which is helpful. I will definitely recommend the class to colleagues and even uh, peers that are looking for something a little, you know, a step beyond what we took in college or just a refresher. I think one of the gaps that the class helps to fill is that a lot of people took general chemistry and haven't taken organic. This course isn't meant to fill that gap completely, but it does give a leg up to people who have to work with organic compounds and metals in a way that maybe just a pure introductory chemistry course doesn't give you that background.